Gut, gut, and gut once again. What's up, 23% Nation? This is your man, Coach D. Today, I'm back with the Gut Diet Part 9. Now, let's very quickly remember that there are a few goals that I have in mind. Number one, when we talk about the gut diet, is to strengthen the immune system, right? Number two, detoxify the body. Number three is to reduce inflammation. And ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, 23% nation, the ultimate goal of the gut diet is to reduce the size of our guts. That's right. Now, for this video, I do have three objectives. Number one, Let's identify the problem. Number two, allow me to offer a solution. And number three, I'm going to answer an age old question, which happens to be, do I have an unhealthy gut? <laughs> but before we dive into all that great information, guys, today I gotta give a special shout out to the 23% Challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, 23% Nation, today is exercise day. So what does that mean? It simply means that it's time to exercise. Now, always remember that on exercise day, you do have five options. Number one, you can do some type of weightlifting. Number two, you can do some type of cardio. Number three, you can perform some type of group exercise class. Number four, you can go play some type of sport. Or number five, you can always go outside and perform some type of outdoor activity. So there you have it, guys. Join me in exercise day. Now, back to the topic at hand. First, let's identify the problem. Now, some of us may call it a big stomach. Some of us may refer to it as a beer belly, a pot belly, or you just may simply call it a gut, right? Well, guys, a gut, a pot belly, a beer belly, really is an excessive accumulation of body fat around the abdominal area. Now, what is a possible solution? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the gut diet, which by the way, is also known as the 23% challenge diet. Now, here's one of the reasons why the gut diet is the ultimate solution. It's very high in fiber. That's right, guys, F-I-B-E-R. Now, when it comes to fiber, I like to call it nature's plumber. So what does that mean? Well, guys, it basically helps to keep your tubes clean. When we talk about your small and large intestine, well, fiber has the responsibility of making sure that waste and toxins leave the body, right? And then when we talk about our blood vessels, particularly our arteries, well, it does a really good job at clearing out cholesterol. So now let's talk about that age old question. Do I have an unhealthy gut? Well, ladies and gentlemen, after reading a really nice online article, I came across seven signs of an unhealthy gut. So let's go ahead and dive just a little deeper. Sign number one is an upset stomach. So maybe after you eat certain foods, maybe you experience a little bit of abdominal pain, maybe a little bit of abdominal discomfort, maybe even heartburn. That's right, guys. If you have heartburn, chances are you have an unhealthy gut. Sign number two, a high sugar diet. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're drinking fruit juices, if you're drinking soda, if you're eating cookies, cakes, pies, donuts, right? <laughs> then yes, chances are you have a high sugar diet, which of course is a sign of an unhealthy gut. Sign number three is unintentional weight changes. So maybe all of a sudden you find yourself getting fat. Well, believe it or not, that could mean that you have insulin resistance. Not good. Sign number four is sleep disturbances or constant fatigue. Ladies and gentlemen, here's something that you may or may not know. There is a hormone called serotonin, which ultimately controls our ability to get good sleep. So guess what? If you have an unhealthy gut, chances are your production of this particular hormone, serotonin, is very low, which in turn can lead to sleep disturbances, which then leads to chronic fatigue. 
Sign number five, skin irritation. So maybe, maybe you have eczema. Well, believe it or not, guys, eczema is a sign of an unhealthy gut. Sign number six, maybe you are experiencing some type of autoimmune conditions, such as type one diabetes, maybe psoriasis, maybe rheumatoid arthritis. Ladies and gentlemen, 23% nation, if you have any of those, yes, that's a sign of an unhealthy gut. And the final sign, number seven, food intolerances. So maybe when, after you eat certain foods, maybe you experience diarrhea, maybe you're constipated, maybe you have gas, or maybe you're just bloated, well, that's a food intolerance. And that simply means, yes, you have an unhealthy gut. Well, believe it or not, guys, that's all that I have for you today. Please stay tuned. Why? Because there's much more information coming your way. As always, let's eat well, feel well, think well, do well, be well. This is your man, Coach D. I'm signing out. Always remember to take care. God bless and never, ever forget that Coach D loves you.